Hey y'all, God has led me to some scripture that really touched my spirit and um, I'm going to read it to you and I hope it touches you too and helps. It is Romans 7, 14 through 25 and 8, 1 through 3, um, just for reference. It's struggling with sin. So the trouble is not with the law for it is spiritual and good. The trouble is with me, for I am all too human, a slave to sin. I don't really understand myself, for what, for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know that what I am doing is wrong, this shows that I agree that the law is good. So I am not the one doing wrong, it is the sin living in me that does it. And I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. But if I do what I don't want to do, I am not really the one doing wrong. It is the sin living in me that does it. I have discovered this principle of life, that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all of my heart, but there is another power within me that is at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to the sin that is still within me. Oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? Thank God the answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So you see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law, but... Because of my sinful nature, I am a slave to sin. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And because you belong to him, the power of life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. The law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. And so God did what the law could not do. He sent his only son in a body like the bodies we sinners have. And in that body, God declared an end to sin's control over us by giving his son as a sacrifice for our sins. This is Paul speaking. And um, Paul was originally called Saul, from Saul to Paul. Saul was a murderer and he condemned Christians and sent them to prison and persecuted them. And then Jesus revealed himself to Paul and said, you are going to go on the road. This was when he was on the road to Damascus. And he said, you are going to go and you are going to preach to the Gentiles and the Jews alike. And he was like so afraid because he was persecuting them. He was persecuting the Christians. And um, Jesus said, no, you're going to go and I will be with you and I will protect you. And um, he went on to be one of the, the most powerful um, apostles in the Bible and he he said um, what do you say he said I am one of the worst and he really gave such good insight on what it is to come from such horrible sin and then be humbled by the Lord Jesus Christ and have the truth revealed to him of being saved and what it actually is and what it does so I, I hope this brought some healing and revelation to someone. Y'all have a great Sunday.